Okay, so let's talk about creating custom MIDI control with Ableton Live and Lightkey. Now the live triggers function and features is amazing. It's gonna just get you where you need to be really, really quickly. But what if there's a scenario where you need to uh, control a fader, for example, in Lightkey, and you want um, precise control over that, instead of just on and off that you may get with the, the trigger, um, how do we make it to where we say, this clip is gonna take it to this value, or we can actually program those fades and get the fades exactly the, the way we want to in Ableton. Here is how. So uh, I have a uh, light key pulled up. Here's my dimmer. First thing I'm gonna do is right click on this just cause this is the one I, I'm using. I'm gonna go to external control. And it, I, before there was a trigger here because it was tied to a live trigger. And if so, then what you wanna do is do remove trigger, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is do add trigger. So I'm gonna create a custom trigger command for this custom MIDI mapping. Uh, I'm gonna just go to this MIDI track that I have here. It really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna do MIDI to light key input. This part is really important. We've been using channel 16 for live triggers. We're gonna make this anything other than channel 16. We can only use channel 16 on that light key input, virtual MIDI input. Um, we can only do that for channel 16 if we're using live triggers. So we're doing a custom trigger. So what we need to do instead is pick any other MIDI channel. I'm just gonna pick MIDI channel 15, okay? Uh, you can see it accidentally mapped, so we'll have to remap this in a second. So channel 15 is set up. Now let's double click uh, here in a, a blank clip slot, okay, to create a MIDI clip. Um, and then I'm gonna go down to this envelopes box, okay? In, in my clip here, I'm gonna go to MIDI control and I'm gonna choose a free CC command. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way up. We'll make this like CC 119, cause I know I'm not using that. I'm gonna go to this line. It's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna click to create a breakpoint. Click to create another breakpoint right here, okay? So what this basically means is CC value 119 and I'm going from a range of zero right there all the way up to 127. Now, because it accidentally mapped to pitch when I uh, created this clip, um, let's go back to dimmer here. We'll right click, right? So we right clicked right there. We're gonna go to external control and we're gonna do add trigger, okay? So now what I'm gonna do back in Ableton Live is I'm just gonna press play on this clip. You can see it's mapped there. You see the CC value moved it and we're gonna click done. So it's mapped. So now as that clip is running, you can see our uh, fader is going up and then it's gonna go down, okay? So now the way that we can practically apply this in Ableton is I can cut this clip, take it back over to Arrangement View, and I can drop this clip in. I, again, the, just knowing CC119 now controls our dimmer on the inner arc in our manual control page, okay? That's a mouthful to say. But what I can essentially do is take this clip, uh, let's say we want this fade to be um, over four measures. So let's move this clip here. We're gonna drag this to four measures. We'll do Command J to consolidate, uh, or um, we do Control J if we're on a PC. Then I'm gonna delete all of these mappings. I just selected and deleted them. Let's say we just wanna fade in, again, over that entire range so we can create our fade. And now I can press play. You can see our dimmer is going up slowly. It's gonna be in time because we already synced our tempo, and it's gonna slowly go up to hit the range that we want. And then we're finally at in a second, 100% or 99%. I guess it's not going to take us all the way to 100% just because it's going to be difficult. Um, but that's how we could do custom mini mappings. Um, take this as a concept and apply it to whatever you specifically want to control. Maybe it's not a fader. Maybe it's a control that um, isn't in live triggers or you want to program all your lights in Ableton Live solely. This is a great way to do it, um, to just make custom MIDI mappings, custom bindings from a, a CC value to a fader, from a MIDI note to another thing. And because we, we can't use MIDI channel 16, but we can use all the other MIDI channels. So there's tons and tons of possibilities to make this happen. So that's a look at how to program and control lights from Ableton Live um, uh, to Lightkey.